The Truth About Ice Trey Young. Trey Young is one of the best up and coming young players that the league has to offer. He's got the swagger, he's got the range, he's got the speed, he's got the vision, he's got the teardrop, he's got the handle. He's got a lot of great things going for him. But it's time to start telling the truth about who Trey Young really is. Trey Young just completed his fourth season in the NBA in which he scored the most points and dished out the most assists, something that hasn't been done in quite some time. So we gotta ask ourselves, why is Trey looking at being at best third team All-NBA? And why was it that last season coaches didn't vote him in as a reserve for the All-Star game? Are people hating on Trey? What's the deal? Over the last three seasons, Trey has been flat out putting the ball in the hoop, averaging over 29, over 25, and over 28 points per game. Each one of those seasons, dishing out over nine assists. In fact, this season, Trey had career highs in field goal, three-point, and free throw percentage. Trey's decision-making has also improved over his first four seasons in the league. So, where's there room for improvement? The truth about Trey Young is, he's very, very talented, but he's falling under the same trap that we've seen with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Super ball-dominant guards that are responsible for creating everything in the offense. Trey scores a lot and he passes a lot, therefore being a super high usage player with inflated stats. Typically what we see with this player profile is one, they're not very good on defense. Two, they're useless unless they have the ball in their hands on offense. There's no screen setting, there's no movement, there's no playing as the decoy, there's just kind of standing around and waiting to get the ball back. In order for Trey Young to reach that next level as a player, he has to grow as a team defender. He has to become less reliant on the pick and roll in order to create offense. He's got to take a step back and learn how to do the little things when the ball isn't in his hands. And there has to be some growth in terms of scoring against size, these 6'8", six, 6'9", six, wings that teams are going to throw on him. The truth is, 29 points and 9 assists per game is very impressive, but it doesn't produce winning basketball. Play styles of Trey Young and James Harden and Luka Doncic and the old Russell Westbrook is just not efficient and won't lead a team to the promised land. I'm probably the same height as Trey Young and I probably outweigh him by 20 to 25 pounds. So I understand that being a little guy out on the court with these large gargantuan NBA players is tough. But missed rotations happen often with Trey Young. He's gotta grow as a team defender. Look, Trey Young's a really good player, but he's not a superstar. He's got superstar stats, but when you use the eye test and put his game into context, you see that right now, if he continues down this path, he's gonna continue running into a wall. My advice to Trey, get off of the Russell Westbrook and James Harden trajectory. Start implementing aspects of Steph Curry and Chris Paul's game into yours and watch you reach the next level as a player. So, tell me what you think. Was I telling the truth or not?